Hey, what's up, y'all? Jordan Brand has been on a string of give the people what they want missions lately. And uh, one of those things included a return of, but it's not suede. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull this out. It's 3M. This is almost like the Toro Bravo that released a few years ago, um, where they brought it back. Well, no, it's not even the Toro that they did that to. It's been a few shoes where they re-released a, a classic kind of colorway, the green bean colorway, dropped in 2006. And it was selling for, like, ridiculous money. And then Jordan decided to do this shoe. And this shoe is basically selling at retail. That's not a bad thing. Um, you know, if you're a person that's reselling, and you're doing a lot of reselling and you bought these and you thought you were going to like make a killing on them because people have been waiting for this shoe. Well, what you got was a 3M uh, version of the classic green bean and it's, it's just selling at retail. So you're not getting a lot of money out of it. But let's jump into our cue points to check because it's so hard to uh, authenticate now. But if you don't have a box and that box is not super sturdy, that's the first thing that should tip you off, man. This thing is sturdy. I mean, it is super, super sturdy. And it's got a nice sheen on it with the uh, paint splatter, just like the paper that has the paint splatter. And it also has, on the inside of the box, QC stamp and a QC sticker. So the first thing you want to do is check your QC sticker and make sure it's QC 30 okay. It can vary just a little bit, but this QC sticker is QC 30 okay. But the stamp is where we really get some important information. And of course, it's easy to mimic now, but it should match with your date. It shouldn't match, but it should be within four weeks of the date on your size label. And we know it's really hard to get to the size label on this shoe, and I'm not pulling them apart. It belongs to someone. So the stamp, the QC stamp is 02 10 22 3 N. 02 10 22 3 N. 02 10 22 3n now i'm going to pull this down to see if i can see this size label because it's kind of critical to 02 10 22 so i'm going to drop that down and the small code is sz which is made in china uh dates production 11 17 21 2 011422 I don't even remember what I said 011422 it should match up obviously it's going to be next to my head on one of these sides so you'll be able to see if that matches up I want to see something real quick though 1140210 yeah that's within 4 weeks man so it's perfect instead of having simply the tongue B3M on this green bean the entire shoe is there's no suede here at all I don't even understand the coating process. I guess what happens is usually they coat, they coat the leather and um, instead of coating it with just a simple PU, they put a reflective 3M into the PU over the leather and that's what gives it this sheen, this 3M reflective look. You do have the icy translucent outsole on the shoe. The 5 is always going to be a classic. It's one of, it's one of everybody's favorite shoes. It's got the Mustang flames on the side. The airplane Mustang flames got an embroidered jump man at the back, not a Nike Air. Uh, you got the green bean lining with the Air Jordan on the tongue right there. I will get to the close up so you guys can check that out as far as double checking a lot of things. But you know what? I forgot to go in and look at the last three of my UPC just to match it up. And it looks like 498, and I'm stretching the heck out of that thing but that's okay. Going to my label and I'm looking at my UPC 498 right before the 14 at the end of this. I don't read the whole thing anymore because obviously you contribute to making the shoes better that are coming in from the fakes. And I don't want that. So um, it's the Air Jordan 5 Retro DM9014003. Uh, the color is silver, green bean, flint gray. Flint gray. I'm surprised Jordan let them put flint on the shoe considering how much he hates Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> and I know Flint is in Detroit, but it is in Michigan, so go figure. Uh, this is a big shoe, it's a size 15, but I, I, I still, I love the Air Jordan 5. I think it's just a classic, classic silhouette. Let's get to the close-up. I don't even have anything negative to say.
coming back from 2006, the Air Jordan 5, I'm bringing this up so you can see, it's an all 3M upper. So it's super smooth. You're going to get that weird crease going across the toe once you start wearing it. But the lace lock has a white jump man on it inside the green push tab that you have. You can see the tongue. Uh, the shoe isn't like doing big numbers. And that's a good thing for those of you who like the shoes. You can still find them in the places that got them late who didn't call like people and say, yo, come and get these shoes. You can find these in the stores because everything is coming in so late for Jordan brand and for all of these different brands. But in particular with Jordan, it matters when things get pushed back. But the green bean, when it was originally dropped, it was more suede. It was more suede. It was not really the smooth 3M kind of metallic look. It was a lot. It was suede. It was kind of like the Wolf Gray 5, which I'm surprised. I haven't seen in a while the Wolf Gray 5, which is much better than the Green Bean, in my opinion. The Wolf Gray 5 is better. But it was suede. Um, let's get you a shot of the medial real quick so you can see that. And I'm going to wrap this video up because I actually want to go look at the World Championships and track. And that gives you kind of a timeline of when I'm doing this video. Shout out Ella, Allison Felix for taking home a medal in her last appearance in the World Track and Field Championships. And oh, Abby Steiner and uh, Elaine both signed to Puma. How about that? Me talking about Puma in a Jordan video. I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Not much to look at. We know what the Jordan 5 looks like. I'll see you guys. Peace.